I wish I'd known that I'd be okay if I never had children. My name's Lisa Mansfield, and I'm the creator of LifeWithoutBaby.com. Nine years ago, when I finally met Mr. Fabulous, I never imagined that I wouldn't have children. We'd been trying to build a family through treatments and adoption, when a friend explained how she and her husband realized that they were already a family. They were just a family of two. At first I thought, well, sure, maybe that works for you, but I have to have children. So I kept running from one doctor's appointment to another, whipping out my credit card to pay for tests and treatments, and I kept feeling the strain of infertility pulling on my marriage. I started thinking about my friend's idea of being a family of two, and I wondered, what would happen if I never had a baby? What if we chose not to adopt? What if I never had children in my life? I thought about my husband and our relationship, and I realized that he was the reason I'd started on this journey in the first place. And finally, I knew that my friend was right. I already had a beautiful family. It was just a bit smaller than I'd planned. Our decision didn't happen overnight, and we flip-flopped back and forth before we finally settled into the idea. I felt as if I was the only person in the world who'd ever made this monumental decision, and I had emotions I couldn't express that I later understood were feelings of grief and loss. My children had been very real to me, but how do you explain that to someone who hasn't experienced it? So I went looking for people who would get it. I started a blog called Life Without Baby, and I found an amazing community of women from all over the world. I shared my stories and insights, and I heard stories from them about the issues of coming to terms with being child-free in a society so focused on being a mom. They talked about feeling pressure from their parents, about being ostracized in their communities, about losing friends because they no longer fit in with the mommy crowd, and about the pain that they felt every Mother's Day. I also heard from women who'd been through it all and were beginning to shape new lives for themselves without children. I spoke to women who were going back to school, changing careers, and taking new opportunities that wouldn't ever have been available if they'd had children. It's been two and a half years since Mr. Fab and I decided to be a family of two, and it's been a bumpy ride. There are days when it's hard, and I think about what might have been, but most days I'm okay. I think there'll always be a little hole that my children would have filled, but it no longer consumes me, and it doesn't define me. Yes, I am infertile, and I am childless, but I'm so much more than that. I'm a writer and a gardener, a wife and a daughter. I'm a good friend and a loving cat mother. I love to travel and read great books. I could play three blind mice on the bagpipes and recite the alphabet backwards. I know I'm not going to be a mother, but I am going to be okay.